The rental line was around the corner. The people, I think. I, <laughs> Martha uh, checked in. That was yesterday. It was a disaster. Today. Yeah. Oh, Somebody have Ken's cream. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-five. Oh. Okay, so today we're going to talk about that FNX 45 tactical. Absolute beautiful pistol. And it comes in this nice soft bag. And in this soft bag, you have this. Ta da! Okay, in your bag, you have your locks and your um, information. You have two 15 round magazines, and you also have an additional tool packet with tools and additional back straps and um, things that you may need to make this firearm as comfortable as possible while you are shooting. And let's do a quick clear check. The firearm is clear and this is how she looks. Absolute great. This is the tactical FDE color. I like it. In the beginning when I first started this journey, I was I couldn't get even though it's the same color, I couldn't get over the two tones, but obviously they're different type of materials, so the paint is not gonna look the same. So I got over that quickly. The barrel is threaded. You do have suppressor suppressor sight height, and it is equipped with the Hollison 407C with the solar panel. Now, y'all already know I'm not into battery changes, so the solar panel on the Hollisons work absolutely great. The slide is nice, you have serrations in the front and in the back. Your safety can be engaged on both sides. Your, mag your um, slide release is also, it's not very pronounced as you can see, it's pretty flush with the slide, but it's not hard to engage. But your mag release is also ambidextrous, like your safety that you can engage it from both sides. Let was you waiting to do that? Did you hold that to say, okay, while she's talking and she's in the groove, I'm just gonna let it rip? You gonna give me time to say excuse me? Uh, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I saying? The uh, mag release. Mag release can be engaged from both sides of this ambi. So, um, left and right. I was such in a groove and I was going. Anyway, uh, the firearm is clear. It is a single and, single and double action pistol, so um, it is a very nice um, combination of the two. Now, as far as your grip goes, as I evolved through this firearm game, um, I started to understand that it's not a one-size-fit-all for um, everything when it comes to things that you're doing and you're using firearms. Now, um, this is something that I do use when I go hunting or camping. I use this frequently if I want to kind of get away from the nine millimeter and have something a little heavier. In my opinion, um, with a 45 or a 10 millimeter, you can't go wrong. So um, this is what I choose and I absolutely love it. Now the stippling, this is, I don't even think this is a stippling. This almost feels like it could be a mold. The mold texture on this grip is very sticky. It has very fine little, they almost look like little pyramids. And um, it is quite aggressive in the hand. I actually noticed it more when um, I was shooting my 509. I, it, was, it was brought to my attention more at that point. Even though I frequent this so much, I really didn't pay attention because I was more into um, it's going to get it done. So I feel, in my opinion, because the grip is, you know, a little longer and the, the pistol is a little bit heavier, actually the control and all that would be a lot better, although the grip is so aggressive um, when I say those little, um, what are uh, pyramid shape 
or style because you can pretty much see the indentation in my hands as I grip the firearm tightly. We also have an Olight on here. This is the Baldor Pro R. It's a great flashlight. It's a combination of things that you can use. You have your strobe on, you know, off, whatever it is, however it is that you want to use it. It works. You also have a, a linear ring on here that you can use as well. I did say two 15 round magazines, correct? Let me give you that visual with that magazine in. There you go. Let me give you that visual with that magazine in and that's how it looks. Absolutely attractive. Very beautiful. Now unloaded, it's 33.3 ounces. So when you add a full magazine of 45 in it, it does change the weight quite a bit, but not anything that's too uncomfortable. So um, I think it's gonna be a pretty nice shoot in my opinion. So with that being said, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range. As you can see, we have a whole lot of friends in here today, but we will make it work. And uh, let's suit them up so we can send them down range. I forgot to mention um, about the trigger because this is a single double action pistol. Um, hammer down, single action. The trigger is anywhere between three to five pounds. And, um, excuse me, double action. The trigger is between eight and 12 pounds. So it's a, you know, it's a big difference between the two. But like I said, 45 ACP out of a handgun, I think it will work well. It is tactical and I am sure, you know, well, I can tell you it shoots absolutely beautiful. It shoots very well, very nice. I also did bring my glove station gloves. I think by so far, these might be my favorite. These are the Airsoft. Now, um, somebody left a comment, wanted to know where I got these glove station gloves from. If you go to their Instagram, check out their Instagram page and um, there's a link tree in there that you can um, click. That's how I found it. Um, you can click and get those. Well, anyway, like I said, yo, let's suit them up so we can send them to the range. Let's go. I didn't say what we were shooting today. We are shooting Seller and Bellet, 45 ACP, 230 grade. Yeah. All right, we are preloaded. And let's send this target. Okay, this is not a first shot impression. I'm just bringing this out so you guys can get a feel and a look for this. brought my gloves and still didn't put them on. I have a little bit of slip and I got some lotion on my hands. Target still looks good though. Let's put these on right quick. I love
great shoe. Come on, we got those. Beautiful shoe. Let's look at the Target. Oh, I don't know what happened right here. But look how it tore that. It hit and it ripped the paper almost like a tumbler. Interesting. So that's our target. First two magazines. We're gonna go for headshots on the next two. Nine by me. We gotta load it up first. We are reloaded. Very beautiful and attractive pistol. What do you think? Drop it in the comments if you own one. Drop it in the comments. Okay, me. <laughs> to the left um, first few shots after I got me a nice reaffirm, reaffirmed my grip I got back into the groove now it's been a while since I've shot it but um, I think I still got it I don't know what happened I don't like these I don't like it so let's do it again and we're going to stay in the groove okay here we I only have one magazine left and then I'll bring the target up. Last magazine. We're gonna speed up the shot since it's the last one. FNX 45.
tactical FDE. Great shoe, feels good, felt better with the gloves on, in my opinion. Uh, so let's clean up so we can go talk about it. So, what did y'all think about the FN FNX 45 Tactical in the Tactical FDE? My opinion, it's an absolute great shoe. I will prefer this over the 509 anytime. It's a delight. Firearm is clear. And let me insert this magazine for you one more time so that you can get a visual of this beautiful beast. Now, I did notice, yes, when I was shooting without my gloves, I did have some left lows. So it seemed like my hand might have been drifting after every shot. When I put my glove station gloves on, I was able to maintain a more firmer, sturdier grip on it because it wasn't so aggressive on my hands anymore. If you don't understand what I'm saying, the next time you visit your local gun shop, ask to feel an FNX 45 so that you can see how aggressive this grip is and for obvious reasons. But overall, I very much so enjoy this pistol. Very, very, very much. So what did you think? What did y'all see? What, um, do you have one as I asked y'all already? If you do, what have you done to it? Have you tricked her out? Have you added anything? Have you changed anything? Let me know, drop that in the comments. I am very curious to know about that. But with that being said, like, hey, now y'all know, y'all know we're on a road to a million. We're almost there. Yo, again, thank you so much for getting me where I am today. I appreciate it and I love y'all for it more than you will ever know and um, if you have not yet checked out Yolk Gang Hunt make sure that you do uh, we just uploaded a hunt video on Monday so make sure you go back and check it out and there's a couple others that you should check out too but um, y'all already know I love it when things work and I love y'all for life peace